flavor with all of them juices. With the juices. Shake your broccoli. Hey, Elliot family of seven plus the fire squad. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe because why? I think I know why. Why? Because it comes to fire every single day. Hey, today, today, today. We are in our new house. This is our first time cooking, and we will be cooking our Costco haul products. So, let's take a look at what we got. Y'all seen in the haul, we had some chicken breast. We also got some organic risotto. It's chicken, mushrooms, and kale. And then we also got one of our favorites, the sweet tomatoes, Jones Broccoli Madness. Lastly, we got some organic Baby Bella mushrooms. And we got some seasoning here. Of course, you gotta add some butter for that good flavor. We got some Mrs. Mr. Dash, some Badia Complete, that California garlic, which is Kirkland brand, Costco haul Costco. again. Onion powder, paprika, yeah, the good stuff. The good stuff. So I have the oven on, I have this heating up right now, so Deshaun, be careful. I'm gonna cook the chicken in here. We'll be sauteing the mushrooms in there and some good butter. So let's get to cooking. With the chicken, I don't like none of the fat. So I be cutting. Comment down below, are you one of the types that cut all these little extra white stuff off of it? Let me know. Yeah, but they say the fat is the flavor. I know that's what they say, but I just, K-Money gotta cut Me it. Me personally, I leave it on there. You do, and, and this- I take out that part, cause this is like some chewy no goodness. I take yeah. that out. I forgot what they call that part, but that's kind of chewy and hard. I don't like that part. I think it's like a tendon, but as in the fat, I leave it because that's where all the flavor is. The, it wouldn't taste like anything if there was no fat in it. Y'all, I get all that fat out of there. Well, as much <laughs> as I could. No, and, no. And I did wash my hands before the video started. Do not mind my nails. They are a little bit ratchet right now. Oh. Really? Really? Hold on, hold on. Did you just say your nails were ratchet? They are. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I know. No. I need to get them done. But that you know what? Dun, dun, dun. We've been moving, y'all. And I just have not had no kind of time. So, just mind, please mind my nails. Don't mind them. Let's start seasoning. So countertop has been fully washed off very well, y'all. This is a, ooh, and a, ooh. Dang, Dang girl. Dang, yeah. I get Dang. it all you're over. To, you're trying to season the stove. The stove and everything. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse that. No, uh not today. Not today. You love seasoning salt, babe. There I you use go. seasoning salt on everything. I can't help it. Yes. Secret ingredients. <laughs> And then some badia. Some badia complete. Badia. Some of the world. Mm -hmm. Then what we got some Costco. Costco granulated garlic. California garlic. Cali garlic. I wonder what's the difference between. Is it just because it's from Cali? Ah, uh, that's what my guess <laughs> is. <laughs> and then there's some onion powder. Onion powder. Y'all, are you like me and kind of use the same cognition of seasoning when you cook? All right, and got some paprika. Some paprika. Ooh, you can see the heat coming over here. Uh-oh, that pan getting ready, y'all. Y'all, first time using this stove. I'm excited. And got some, some salt-free mustache. All right, all right, Mrs. with the salt-free, look at you. Yeah, getting I'm not really. healthy. If it wasn't hey. for the seasoning salt, let me hey, stop. Hey, <laughs> I love me some seasoning salt. Love it. And last but not least, some black pepper. You gotta have black pepper. Yeah. I say black pepper. <laughs> I didn't even black say it right. What's wrong with you? Black pepper. Now you're patting it in right now Ooh, a little bit. It's a little hot. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we're gonna do the other side. All right, let's place these babies on this hot oil. Ooh. Wee, we got some oh, sizzle. You done did that. You're doing that. We got some sizzle, y'all. Some sizzle, tizzle. Yeah. Shout out, Xena Grub. Yeah, shout out, sis. <laughs> X sizzle, tizzle. Looking good. It's smelling good, too. Just just with the little bit of seasoning. Dang, babe, you crowding that pan. I sure am. God, there ain't even the room for no air. 
That thing is crowded, y'all. Look, look. waiting on this. <laughs> Got one left, two left, two, two pieces left. left. So I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, you gonna make it do what it do? I'm gonna make it do what it do. Organic risotto from Costco. It is gluten free. Yes, awesome. 32 ounces, which is two pounds, of course. This is all organic and and it's made in or in Oregon, y'all. So that's a pretty cool fact. It says our organic risotto starts with uh, arborea. Arborio? How do you say that, y'all? Rice slowly cooked in a savory broth, then married with tender chicken, earthy mushrooms, hearty kale, and Parmesan cheese to create a classic Italian dish. And y'all, so when you cook this, you can microwave it, which is convenient for especially for a large family that we have. You just cut it open, put it in there. They say cover it with a damp towel. I wonder why. For seven minutes, y'all. And you just stir it and serve it. And then they say you can also add finely grated Parmesan, which we have that. Or you can do a stove top, you boil it, the water, and basically only two inches of water. Then you put the pouch in the water, and they say for eight to nine minutes. Cool. And once you take it out, you just cut it open and put it in a bowl. So that's just some little in insight at your local Costco, definitely look for this. If it's any good, we're gonna let you know that too. Let's turn these babies, babe. Oh yeah. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Look at that color, y'all. That cooks so fast. Oh my goodness. I love this pan. What type of pan is this, babe? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> we have all brand new stuff. You don't know what type of pan you're using? I know I got it from TJ Maxx. Uh huh. It looks like a stone pan, y'all. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. It looks nice. This is looking good, babe. Y'all, and this is what I personally like to do because chicken breast, that's what we use mostly. And chicken breast is pretty thick, so y'all see me cut some of them in half for the kiddos. But the thicker pieces like these two, I like to just get this or a knife and kind of just cut in there. That way it cooks evenly. You don't have to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. Well, okay, money's getting that chicken together. I'm going to go ahead and saute these beautiful mushrooms. Usually I would cut them. But you know what? I want a thick, hearty piece of mushroom. So I'm going to just, you know, slowly cook them on a the stove with the good butter and some garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm getting this butter melted really good, y'all. And I'm trying to make sure it don't get too hot because I'm going to have to cook my garlic in here for the mushrooms. And I'm adding a good amount of garlic, y'all. Is that a good amount to you, babe? That's a good amount. Your mom used to love using garlic, right? She loved it. I mean, it was so bad. I think K Money, didn't you say like you would smell the garlic like yes. when you come in if she was cooking? She loved cooking with garlic. Yeah. Rest in peace, rest in heaven. Yes. To, to Sue, we miss you. We miss you so much. She's here with us. Yes, indeed. Spiritually. Yes, she is. So, getting this, getting the garlic cooked up good, and I'm going to turn down the heat so it's not too high, but I don't want the the butter to burn, y'all. I mean, the uh, garlic to burn. So once I see it, it's cooked now, I don't want it to burn, so I'm gonna take it off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms. Just throw them in there. And they're gonna sweat down anyway. This isn't the usual type of pan you can, <laughs> yeah. you know? If it was like flatter, it'll be better, but it's not. We still trying to get stuff out and together, y'all. Yeah. So, so a little bit of pepper and some salt. Yeah. Right. There we go. And just get that coated. As it sweats down, it's going to be a lot easier to mix this because it's going to reduce. It's going to get smaller, y'all. It's not going to take long. And I, I'm going to cover it up, actually, to make sure it sweats really good. We got the chicken breast going, and we also got A-Train sautéed mushrooms going. Let's get on to the other side dishes. So what's weird is, is they say to cut the contents out and put it in there, but it's frozen. So now I have to make sure I, like, get some water on it and make sure it loosens up. I'm going to do that. And then we're gonna get back to me. It's K Money's turn. Let's, Let's switch. Let's get it. Let's switch it up. <laughs> this sweet tomatoes. It's a broccoli kit. Broccoli. It is so good. Yes, it is. One of the favorites, and our family loves broccoli. All right, so it comes with two of these packages of the sauce, which is kind of like a sweet taste. Mm -hmm. It comes with a pack of cooked bacon. 
-hmm. It comes, oh, two packs of those. Yep. And two packs of raisins and almonds. With peanuts. With peanuts in them. And they're so good. Oh. Aaliyah just said mom's allergic, but. Yes, which I am, but for this particular one, I've had it a few times since I knew I was allergic to it. And to what? Things, to the almonds and to the peanuts. I have not had a reaction so far to either one. So they said as long as I haven't had a reaction, I can technically still eat it. Right. So we do use both the packs. I guess they make it so if you have a smaller family, you can just use one pack of everything and preserve the next pack. But for us, we need both. Yeah, I just need one. It's looking good. I really like this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, today. Do the, the kids like this too, right? Yes, and this is like an onion Ooh. sweet sweet kind of sauce, Ooh. I guess. I but the kids too. love this. Ooh, Kendrick just said, I love it too. We are a family <laughs> of seven, so you hear those kiddos in the back if you're new here. And then you, I guess, put the lid on it, right? And then yes. shake it up. You put the lid on it and, and then shake, shake it up. Shake, shake it up. Shake, shake, shake it up. What the world was that? What was that? <laughs> shake, shake, da, 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 da. Shake your broccoli, hey. Do the hey. Boo! Do the Boo! I'm sorry, shake boo. Shake, 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 shake. That, that wasn't shake, funny. Shake, shake. shake your boo. broccoli, hey. Shake your broccoli, hey. <laughs> All right, it's mixed, babe. It's mixed, y'all. It is delicious. Yes. Did oh. he just fingers, y'all? I'm that kid that used to always stick his hand in the cookie jar. Oh, Lord, we could tell. I'm just kidding. Girl, bye. I frosted it, y'all. Finally. So let's go ahead and cut it open. And we're going to do it a quick way. We're trying to get dinner served. Ain't nobody got time for that. No cooking process. I'm going to nuke it. That's what they used to call it in the culinary field. Nope. They're going to nuke it. And you best believe it. Even the high class restaurants, they will lean on the microwave every once in a while. And you might have paid $200 for that plate, and you were like, my food's cold. Microwave. They're not going to reheat all the food. Ain't that messed up? And oh. I just released certain secrets. Ooh, kitchen <laughs> culinary secrets. But you can tell if it's heat up in microwave. Like, I can tell. I'll be like, no, I want it, like, cooked, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the microwave? It tastes like radiation. It is. <laughs> and oh. And oh. All right, so it's in here. And you do a damp paper towel in just seven minutes. Wham, bam. Thank you, risotto. Thank you, risotto. Let's go. Easy. Done. Oh, by the way, the mushrooms, they're done now. Both look delicious. Yeah, they do look good. And it's still like, you know, as it heats, the heat cools down, it's still gonna descend, like get evaporation. And it's just gonna thicken up the sauce that it's in that I made. What did Kendrick just do? Oh, he dropped popcorn. Yeah. Okay. And the chicken. I mean, along. I think it's well. done, but K Money's not listening to me, y'all. Listen, y'all. I'm so funny about chicken breast, about chicken, period. I will keep adding water because I need to make sure it's fully cooked. Your girl ain't trying to get no kind of salt. But it's it? cooked. Salmonella or food poisoning, whatever the case may be. I'm not the one for it. So I'm gonna make sure if I cook you some chicken, it's gonna be cooked right. Mm -hmm. Not saying that A train don't cook right because y'all, if you're new just, to this, just right. He does, and he also has went to culinary school, so he is technically a chef. He's worked in like five star restaurants before, mm -hmm. but your girl still has some reservations about how I personally cook chicken. So he was like, you know, it's we done go, right. Y'all, we go back and forth about the chicken debate all, all the, time. the time. I'm like, babe, 20, you know, 20 minutes or depending on this temperature, 15 minutes, depending if it's high, it's 15 minutes. She won't listen. I won't listen. And I'm not saying he's wrong because he's probably right. I mean, I've been, hold on. Hold he on. went to school for this. I, I've been cooking. I cooked the meal before. Y'all, I know this is a cooking video, but this is also the Elliot a family, family seven. Seven life video. Yeah. And this is my life. Uh, Any, anybody out there gonna take up for me or 
Is it is just gonna woman gonna overpower me in this one? Give me, I, I got a feeling the woman. Give me gonna, ladies, come on, give me them emojis down. The emoji? fire emojis down in the comment section below. Let us know if you team K Money or team oh, A no, Train. We, <laughs> we ain't messy. But I am so I'm like a little scared of getting sick, so I just gotta make sure it is cooked. Cash at team mom. When he cooks the chicken, I'm team, it is I'm, always I'm good. team K Money. See, he's Team K Money. He's going to let me do what I need to do with the chicken, even though he's like, mm, it's mm. done, but I ain't going to say nothing because you ain't going to listen. Mm -hmm. So it's almost done. Dinner's almost done. Let's continue on. With this risotto, you're supposed to add your own Parmesan. So that's what we did. We just added our own Parmesan. And it is okay looking. I wish it wasn't as mushy as this, mushy. Mm -hmm. But if I mix it too much, it'll really get mushy. So... I'm trying to fold in the Parmesan because, you know, I don't want it to like become slop. Yeah. So that's the best we can do with that. And it's only, is this fully done right now? Yeah, it's done. Okay, so we should test try that for everybody. Let me see, you wanna try it, babe? Yeah. All right, you can try it first. All right, Kate Money. Let's see. Um. It's very mush, mushroomy. mushy. No, yeah. mushroomy. Oh, mushroomy. It tastes like a can of mushroom sauce got dumped all on it. Really? Let the me try it. Mushrooms overpower everything. Mm. All right, let me try this. Definitely needs salt and pepper. It needs salt and pepper. <laughs> I'll say that. And it is mushroomy, but if it has some salt and pepper, it'll set it off. That's all. That's all we got to do, y'all. Yes. And we're going to get plate. Oh, let's dump the mushrooms in the chicken. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't mind that jazz we listen to. Peaceful music. Mm -hmm. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so we're going to dump the mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, into the chicken. Ooh, with all of the juices. With the juices. If you make me happy. <laughs> hey. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get this plated. Dinner is ready to be served. Ooh, Ooh wee. Wee. Yes, today. The there. The mushrooms, the chicken looking glistening. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, we. Let me get a nice savory piece here. This might look better than my mom's food. Ooh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I'm just playing, Mom. No, that was a joke, Mom. I really didn't mean it. It was a joke. It was a joke. Y'all, was that a joke? Mom, forgive me, I didn't mean it. <laughs> ooh, and a ooh. And next, some of the like risotto, risotto. The little mush mush. <laughs> I know. I, I wish it wasn't that mushy. That's the only thing I could say. Costco, if you can make sure, you know, the instructions are to make it less mushy somehow, let us know. Somehow, some way. Yes, please. Let us know. And there is the broccoli salad. Ooh. If I could get some broccoli. Uh. Mm. Yeah, that looks good, babe. Okay. Time to so, test it out. Let's test try this. Okay, y'all. Let's test try this. Woo! Ooh. Let's see if that chicken's cooked. Oh, it is cooked <laughs> to perfection, let's baby. See if it is oh, cooked. look at you. No pink, no red. Get Don't try girl. to play me. Get it, girl. All right, I'm going to get some of that with the mushroom. Okay. Kids dropping Ooh, stuff. They Lordy. Stuff down the stairs. Who is hot? Oh Lord, is she exaggerating y'all? Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> the flavors of my chicken and A Train's mushrooms, whoo! Sets they, it off. They set well together. Mm. I will say, yeah, these are very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Now for a little bit of the risotto. I added the salt and pepper to it now, so let's see how it is let's now. See how it is. Look at Sean. Mmm. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Good. Definitely, after you added the salt pepper seasoning to it, it tastes a lot better. So let's get some of this broccoli on here. Mm. Mm. Good mm. We got a good dinner tonight? Mm hmm. Now you're trying to try. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me get it. Y'all, if you're new to the channel, A Train Hat. Oh, you screeching. <laughs> he had surgery, so he can only eat a little bit. 
What I try is what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. <laughs> Some of the risotto. Mm -hmm. Tastes better after the seasoning, mm -hmm. right? I want some of everything. Mm -hmm. mm. Now that's a good dinner. Mm. Mm. This is what a family of seven eats, y'all. Yes. You all stay blessed. And highly favored. Thank you for joining us today. We love and appreciate y'all. Really appreciate you. Yes. You have no idea. We look forward to your comments every day. It just makes our day. You don't know. Yes. We love each and every one of you we guys. We love y'all. You all stay blessed. And highly favored. Peace. Peace.